Uh, again, first thing that you need, you need resin, you need, if you're using a Lumalite, and even if you're not actually using a Lumalite, it might be a good idea to use a pressure pot. It, it's, it will help get the air bubbles out regardless of the resin that you're using. So I do know that some people use pressure pots with polyester resin. I don't think you need to, but you could. So um, those are a couple of the tools. Now to get your cast, you know, you, you need to have a mold. <laughs> so that's the first thing, you know, and you can use just about anything that's kind of a non-stick type, type of deal. Melamine works fine. Um, this is actually a melamine bowl. You can make bowl blanks by just filling this with resin and then dumping it out. Um, one of the cool things that I've seen is uh, Br uh, Brendan Stamp, he has a video channel, a YouTube channel. He puts wood around the edge of a bowl like this, <clears throat> puts a piece of pine that's kind of shaped like that, the opposite side of the bowl fills it with resin and then dumps it out and what, what happens is because he puts a chunk of pine in the middle you got an easy way to mount your bowl blank that has resin and wood around the outside it's pretty cool and then he just pops the uh, turns that pine part off of the resin so pretty cool thing I haven't really done a whole lot with bowls um, I haven't you know I haven't done any casting with bowls and I, I really don't turn bowls yet that much so one day I will get into that but Anyway, so you got to get a cast now, or a mold, I should say. Uh, if you're doing like normal pen blanks where you're going to end up cutting out, you know, just seven eighths or three quarter inch sticks, uh, you know, it's pretty simple just to make like a five inch by five inch or, you know, something like that, five by six uh, by maybe about two inches deep or something like that. Um, and just fill a square thing. It makes it easy to cut out on the table saw or the band saw. Um, <clears throat> I made this one for. Uh, what are they called? Bottle stoppers. Uh, they're just a little bit bigger and so I can get a couple bottle stoppers out of this this thing. I also I kind of use this for testing things too if I'm trying something new. Um, it's a little bit smaller. Um, now this is just a piece of plastic tray thing that I got at a craft store. You can use this. It'll work fine, you know. So you got silicone molds as well. Uh, now I bought these, I think his name is Fred Wisson, uh, P-Town Stubby. <laughs> Uh, he sells these things, he makes these silicone molds and sells them online. Now, the way these things work, they have little plugs. Now, what's going on here, and you may not be able to see this, but the tube is actually cast. So the brass tube that you would normally drill out and glue into your, glue into your pen blank is literally cast in the, the mold. And these little plug things make sure that the resin doesn't go in the tube. So you pour the liquid over this floating tube that's going to be in the mold. Now let me go get a tube because it's hard to explain that and show something that's already finished. Alright, so what's going on here is this, this is a Sierra tube, I think. Um, pretty close, close enough. Um, so what you do is you put this tube in here and then you put these plugs and get them nice and tight on here and you got your tube sitting in the mold already and when you mix up your batch of, of resin you just pour the liquid in here and it covers and sticks to the tube and you don't have to glue it on or do anything so you got the molds you got all kinds of different molds you can pretty much use anything um, one thing you could use is PVC pipe um, I didn't bring that up here I don't use it because Alumalite doesn't shrink at all. So I would basically have to turn off the, you know, on the lathe, I'd have to turn the PVC off uh, if I cast it in there. So that's one disadvantage for Alumalite, I, I, I think I would say. Because I've used PVC pipe for polyester resin, that stuff shrinks slightly when it cures. So it, it makes it easy. You go buy a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe and it's, <laughs> you got an easy blank and it's round when you're done. So that's an easy one. If you have any questions or have any ideas, have any good examples that I missed, um, definitely leave some comments down below. Um, if you have any suggestions or whatever, any other comments for me, uh, definitely leave those below too. And you can also get a hold of me uh, by email at zach at nvwoodworks.com.